gathering hymn number 381, Glory and Praise to Our God. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him, who built the valleys and plains, praise the wonders of God as God in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working night and day, and not to burden any of you, we proclaimed to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and so is God, how devotely and justly and blamelessly we have behaved toward you believers. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father treats his children, exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. For this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you receive it not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. You have searched, searched me and, and you know me, Lord. Lord. Where can I go from your spirit, from your presence? Where can I flee? If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. You have searched me, Lord. Where can I? If I take the wings of the dawn and if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me and your right hand shall hold me fast. You have searched me, Lord. You know me, Lord. If I say, surely, the darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light. For you, darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as a day. 
You search me and you know me, Lord. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing." Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestor measured out the gospel of the Lord. The gospel of God continues to give us the guidance that each day of our lives we are able to gain certain inspiration. We also say that the gospel is the blessing in our own lives, as what St. Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians would witness that he has proclaimed the gospel and the good works and the good news, but he will always claim it not as his own, but he would say, always with the guidance of God. And thus, as we recognize the gospel and the word of God, not just simply a blessing in our own lives, but it is also a mission. It is our mission to proclaim it, to live it, to witness it, and to share it to the rest of the world. Like in our gospel today, Jesus has never proclaimed any word, but has confronted evil doing from the Pharisees. And thus, the call for an authentic living of God's word. We receive the word of God. And thus, we are compelled also to change our lives. Hypocrisy hides evil and takes the appearance of righteousness. May we shun hypocrisy by being honest to ourselves and to others, humbly accepting our defects and imperfections, instead of pretending to be good. May the people of God honor the prophets, the righteous, and all the saints by following their holy lives and asking their intercession before the glorious throne of God, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May public officials honor the heroes of the country, not by their platitudes, but by imitating the hero's love and sacrifices for the nation. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May children honor their parents by their love and affection and their support in their parents' old age. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May young people 
give respect and remain close to the elderly so that they can benefit from the elderly's wisdom based on long experience. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May we honor our beloved dead by keeping their beautiful memories and praying for their, the repose of their soul. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer for the conversion of sinners and for the suffering souls for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Silently we present our needs to the Lord. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, the memories of good people remain in our hearts and in our lives by our imitation of their godly lives. May we build in the good foundation they have begun. This is all we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 555, 555, The Summons. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and ever be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you Christ of the Lord. Amen. 
past. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Your spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come, our God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, and save from all distress to await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ said to her apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the 
sins of all. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Should go to the sick and the homebound, that not only the sacrament was celebrated, but also the word of God was heard, as well as the affection of this parish community. 
As for the prayers of those who meet the visit return, go now God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has been offered, you know, go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 398. 398, Sing to the Mountains. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my soul.